My grandfather has the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban at the zoo. Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy and I've got my headphone in for no reason. Um, this is Firewind, a band that I first encountered, I'm not certain, but I would say probably with the Allegiance album, which was 2006. I think. The problem is, it's a long time ago, and also you get an album and then sometimes you go back and get the one before that, don't you? You go, oh, this is quite good, and you get the one before that, and now it's all muddled up, I'm not sure exactly. I think it was 2006 Allegiance, and that's not important, because you people don't actually care. But I really liked it. I couldn't tell you which tracks I liked off the top of my head, because it's, again, it's that 14 years, 14 years, that can't be right, 14 years ago. Wow, I'm all I'm really, really old. It's, I tell you what, it, it feels about 35 degrees in this, where I am right now. I am so hot. Anyway, Firewind. We'll get there. They're from Greece and they have a pretty famous guitarist called Gus G. If you're not familiar with Gus G, think of like a Steve Vai kind of character. Um, and he went on to be um, Ozzy's. Um, Ozzy Osbourne's guitarist after Zach Wilde. He took over from Zach Wilde with Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, can't remember the year of that. Let's say 2009. Um, but Firewind didn't die, I don't think. They didn't go away because they just kept making albums. But myself and Firewind just kind of diverged because um, that's what happens, isn't it, sometimes? So then when YouTube suddenly said, hey, Firewind have got... That's not exactly how they said it, but you get the gist. Hey, Firewind have got a new album out. And it's called Firewind. The album's called Firewind. And the band's called Firewind. And this came out middle of May. So, you know, it's new. So, I haven't listened to this. Um, let's find out if Firewind have changed. It's been, like I say, I'm not saying it's like 14 years since I heard them, but it's 14 years ago since I first heard them. It's got to be... 10 years since I've heard them. So, let's see what we get. I've never said that before. It's not working. So
Well, there's always room for some widdly heavy metal. I have, to, I have to say, actually, when the, the first chorus, um, I just started smiling because the singer in, that, in the chorus just reminded me of Bruce Dickinson. He had a, like a tone of Bruce Dickinson, a kind of a slight style of Bruce Dickinson, uh, which is certainly not a bad thing. Uh, he had one of those great classic heavy metal voices. Um, but uh, yeah, Gus G. Uh, gave his fingers a bit of a workout. You know, I'll have an extended solo here. Thank you very much. Do you think you are Japanese? Um, that's like an in-joke if you like Japanese metal. They tend to have quite a lot big solos. Uh, never mind. Um, so yeah, it's fun stuff. I was doing the old chair dancing, you know, so uh, I can imagine enjoying that. Driving along, it's like, I, it was just put me in mind of how, how it would be like, you know, driving driving down the motorway or something. Dun, dun, diddly, dun, 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 you know. Um, or just dancing around the kitchen cooking dinner. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I understand it's not death metal, and I understand, but there is room for all of the multifarious genres of metal, aren't there? And I'm kind of lucky in a way that I'm not mentally pigeonholed. Um, if I like it, I like it. If it's good quality, I will probably like it or at least appreciate it. These guys have been around for a very long time, you know, like I say, Gus G played with Ozzy. It, it, they're not. It's not a bunch of kids who suddenly decided to make an album, so you expect it to be good. Um, and yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I feel like I'm defending it. Why am I defending it? Probably because I know that the audience of my channel doesn't tend to listen to this stuff, I don't think. Um, we definitely, I think, lean more in the, 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 the heavy side. And it did make me think that maybe I should find more songs with whittly bits, because it's just not like super technical whittly bits, just great, fun, metal guitar whittling like that. Um, because it's just, I find it super entertaining. And that's what matters. Um, let me know what you think. Firewind, back. I don't actually know if they ever went away, but back in my life after a very long absence. Um, just come out two weeks ago-ish. Middle of May, anyway. Check it out. See you soon. Bye-bye.